Okay, so what's going on everyone? In today's episode, we're going to be painting a bait that I have not painted before, but that looks really cool. And that is a Duo Realis M6511 a blank. So that's a lot of a lot of letters and words, but essentially this is a crankbait that's gonna dive to about 10 or 11 feet. And it has just really cool features. And uh, looking it up online, it looks like the you know original blank is really well respected and uh, catches a lot of fish. So this was bought from Dinger Custom Baits. Looks great, um, has a really nice quality feel to it. And we're actually gonna paint this up in a pattern that is an original pattern for the duo Realis. Um, it, this is really gonna be kind of a springtime bait for myself. And in the spring, I really like red. And so we're gonna paint this fire tiger pattern and just basically try to make it look similar to what the original uh, pattern looks like. So we'll start off by mixing a little bit of opaque red and opaque yellow to make some orange, fade that into kind of a darker red on top, put some black on top, and then hit it with some stencils that I cut out on some cardboard paper for the side of the fire tiger pattern, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so as that orange is still wet, we're gonna take some transparent red and start this blend up the sides. We're gonna probably just want this to uh, essentially reach down uh, close to the belly, but not all the way there. We do wanna see a little bit of, uh, of orange on the side. Then we're gonna take some opaque red and we're gonna continue this blend. This is gonna be the last red, hopefully the darkest. We'll just start it um, up about where the eye and the top of that little gill plate is, put it onto the back. And so I realized that this opaque red really isn't as dark as I want it to be. So I'm gonna add just a smidgen of this opaque black to it, just a tad, not even a drop. I'm just gonna take this little, you know, piece of uh, wood, get a little bit on this and mix it into the red just to darken it up a bit. Okay, so we have a red that's a tad bit darker and we're gonna just really try to stay on the top um, but have a last little fade of a different shade of red. where we're currently at. 
We have orange fading into a red, fading into a darker red, and now we're gonna hit the top with some black. this bait at this point. So you can see the base of our pattern. So we have our red fading up into the black on top. Now we're gonna just take this uh, cardboard. Again, this is off the back of some kind of crankbait I got or whatnot. And I have a few different patterns and we're just gonna use this on the side of the bait and just go through and put the patterns on as we want them. We got one side done, we're gonna heat set this and hit the other side. And here you see the bait with the pattern on there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put in the eyes. Uh, Dinger actually includes the eyes with this purchase, which is nice because you can see that that eye hole is a little bit different than uh, normal. guys there's the duo realis m65 we're going to put some clear cone on it and finish it off i appreciate you guys for watching if you like this video as always please hit that thumbs up button drop me a comment down below if this is your first time here on my channel please think about hitting that subscribe button i come out with a couple videos every week and we're gearing up to do some real hardcore fishing here when it gets a little bit warmer